Howdy. So I got another story to tell y'all. Man, I always seem to have some stories. This time it's involving Barnes & Noble. Now, I've been a member for a long time. There's even my member card. I have no idea how long I've been a member. And because I was a member, I was affiliate of theirs. Now, it started a long time ago with Google Affiliate Network, and then they moved to something that was called Linkshare at the time, and now it's called Rakuten. And I just found out a while back ago that they are now also on uh, Commission Junction. They had actually left the other two. The thing is that no one, Commission Junction or Rakuten or Barnes & Noble, no one ever said that they had moved. So they moved, and long story short, I put in for it at Commission Junction, and they turned me down. And I'm going to link to the blog post. I wrote a really long blog post about this <laughs> that went out last week. So anyway, I started thinking, you know what? After all the loyalty I've shown them, uh, forgetting everybody else and everything else, I'm just going to drop my membership. You know, I kind of like going to Barnes & Noble. I like looking at the books. I like buying my cookie there. And I was buying movies there, even though I could get them cheaper at Walmart or Target. And I was just, you know, trying to be loyal. The thing is, you don't build up any points. Uh, you don't get anything good, like when it comes to the Nook. Yeah, you can get a discount on the Nook if you're a member. But if you buy a Nook book, it means nothing. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to cancel my account. So I went online to find out how to do it. You go to their page, and you have to send them an email. So I sent them an email saying I'd like to cancel my account. I gave them the number, and I figure, okay, now you know we're going to get somewhere. So the first thing they do is they send me an email saying, we need to know what the email address is of the account. And I'm thinking, well, wait a minute. This is the email address of the account that I sent it to you from because this is the email address. Y'all have been sending me those letters for all these years trying to get me to go buy stuff. Still, okay, I'll give you that one. So I wrote them back telling them what the email address was. Same one I was using. Then they send me an email and it says, we're sorry, but we can't confirm your home address. Could you please tell us what the original home address is that you created the account with? Now, I've been in this house 16 years. I don't know if I've been a member of Barnes & Noble for longer than 16 years. I don't remember my old address. So I gave them the address that I'm at now, which is also the same address on the website. So they wrote me back. And what they said was, we can't find a record of that address as the primary address. I'm thinking, what's wrong with you people? I have ordered stuff from you. You have sent me stuff in the mail to that address. <laughs> you know, the credit card that I have is tied to that address. <sighs> so I go to their website. And I open up my account, and I see my address on there, and I did a screen print of the address. And I posted the image. I said, okay, look on your website. I don't know what you're looking at, but here's the address. This is where I am. And then they sent me an email back apologizing, but saying, I have to tell them the address that I originated the account from. I'm thinking, are you nuts? Are you kidding me? I can't even cancel an account? So, luckily, I had gone online and I had deleted all credit card information. So, they can't, like, do a back-end run and, you know, just reapply me. But it got me thinking about customer service and how you have some companies that are very good with customer service. Even if you're going to leave, it's very easy to do. And then you have some companies that when you tell them you want to change something, unless the reason is valid, like, I'm sorry, I died. <laughs> They want to sit there and badger you for 15 to 20 minutes to try to keep you as a customer. Even after you've told them, no, I just, you know, I'm done. I want to move on. I'm trying to do this nicely, I'm trying to let you down, I'm trying to be nice. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not coming in here cussing at you. I'm not saying your service stinks or anything. It's time to move on. I'm ready to go elsewhere. Even if I'm mad, I'm trying to go elsewhere and you're fighting me on it. And I just don't understand why people think that's going to work. That's like breaking up with someone and then having them bring you cakes and candies and cookies and all other kind of stuff trying to get you back. And the reason you broke up with them is because they did you wrong. None of that stuff is going to change anything. They did you wrong. Now, if you just broke up because you're a jerk, maybe. Or you broke up because you said, well, I don't know if you can cook and now you show me you can cook, maybe. But if something went wrong and now you're breaking up, 
there's not a thing you can do to get me to come back. But I need to ask, am I kind of being sensitive here? I mean, if I'm trying to cancel and I can't cancel my account, am I being sensitive <laughs> to the fact that I can't cancel my account? If you go for some customer service and folks aren't necessarily treating you the way you expect, do you think you have a right to be upset? I see things from the other side a lot of times because I've been over customer service departments. But I'm thinking, are, are you kidding? I can't cancel an account because you're telling me you can't verify an address, which is on your website? Please. If you guys are in business, you know what? Make your customer service process easy. That's all I'm going to say. If you're working in a company and you have something about customer service, work on making your customer service easy. Don't do stupid stuff like Barnes & Noble. They're just giving me more reason to give it up. Yes, you know what? The thing I'm going to miss most is the cookie. But you know what? I know someone works at Doubletree. I can get the Doubletree cookie, and it's better. I'm just saying. Let me know your thoughts. I'm out of here. Y'all take care.